Sorry, my head was bopping to that <laughs> tune there. Okay, so it was one of the most anticipated companies to go public in years. Facebook started trading on the NASDAQ on Friday, and Lance Roberts from Street Talk Advisors is here to discuss it with us. And Lance, Facebook kind of got out of the starting gates with a, a pretty bad stumble, I think. It, yeah, was, it was a bit of a mess. Yeah, you tripped over the first hurdle, fell face down, and, yeah. and eventually got up. Um, you know, but that really is not a huge issue. Uh, it's just simply trying to line up the number of shares that were trying to be sold. And this was the real issue here. Over, just prior to the actual open of, of Facebook over the last several days, there's been a massive number of insiders rushing to the door to sell their shares. It tells you a lot about what they expect mm -hmm. out of the company. Yeah, because, okay, it's, it opened for trading at the, uh, the IPO price was $38 mm -hmm. a share. It briefly shot up to about 43, ended the day barely above 38, which is not a very common occurrence. Well, Most of the time with something like this, you would think everybody would be just buy, well, buy, buy, buy like crazy. Well, exactly. But remember, the institutions are looking for, they, they already own the stock, and mm -hmm. the institutions are trying to, to have a payday. They're trying to get rid of their stock. And what happened, and very importantly, on Friday was at the end of the day, the institutions were having to buy shares back to support mm -hmm. the price. So that's not a real good sign. If you look at Groupon and LinkedIn and some of the others that have come, uh, Pandora and some mm -hmm. others, you saw the very same type of action, and then the stock was weak after that. So. And by the way, as of right now, Facebook today is down about 11 or 12 percent. It's, it's doing awful out there today. So let's just talk to the folks out there and tell them at this point, let's say Facebook mm -hmm. is trading about $34 right now. Is it a bargain? Or is it a is it a it's, way to lose money real fast? Well, it, you know, it's it's really tough to tell because if you actually look at how does how does Facebook make money? That's that's what this is. You know, you're investing in a company, you're you're buying shares on expectations of them making money for mm -hmm. you in the future. So how do they monetize? They make five dollars for every user versus Google that makes thirty, Netflix makes 144 per user. So at five dollars, you've got to really imagine how are they going to create a lot of revenue to support the revenue growth going mm -hmm. forward, and it. Really really comes down to how they're going to perform in the future. So I would just wait. Um, wait for a couple of quarters. See how Mark's going to handle the media, the mm -hmm. analyst, how they're going to come out, how their earnings are going to look. Because now, for the first time, we can really see into their numbers. Because before, since it was a private company, we didn't really know necessarily exactly. what was going on behind the curtain. How could they make money? I mean, one way they can make money is by marketing stuff to people, sure. right? But well, or what other ways could they well, make money? You know, that's the thing. Ads, right? The advertising is good. GM just came out, pulled their advertising, said, hey, we're not getting a lot of bang for our buck off mm -hmm. the website. Um, so the question is, put more ads on the website. But the problem is you put more ads on the website or you start putting ads inside of, you know, some of the social content, more ads to your phone. That's going to deter users. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if you already look at the revenue stream, the revenues are already declining. Users have kind of peaked out here recently. And of course, how do we account for users? That's the big question. How often do they come and visit? Those are metrics we really don't know just yet. I, there already has been a little bit of a backlash against Facebook, let's say over the last year or so. People are just sort of annoyed that it seems to be in every aspect of their life. You can't get right. away from it. Right. And now if they're going to try to make money off of you, it seems like they're going to get even more invasive, That's right. which could potentially turn off, uh, you know, or, or up, open up the opportunity for somebody else to come along well, with another site. Well, exactly. And that, that there, there is the big thing, right? Remember AOL back in the day? Oh, yeah. So AOL was a big deal for it, a while. It was. And then MySpace came along, and then now Facebook. And, and people are very fickle. And as soon as you start getting too involved in what's going on or you start becoming a little bit of a burden, they'll move on to the next new thing. Mm -hmm. And so the question is, is, is Facebook really all that it's cracked up to be or is it just a fad that will give way to the next new, new thing that gets somebody's attention? So if you were advising the folks out there who are watching, let's say they have a little bit of money, and maybe not even that much, I don't know, $500, $1,000 or something they want to set aside for their kid's college fund or something like that, and they're thinking about, hey, if I buy Facebook now, it mm -hmm. might be worth 10 times what it's worth by the time they're ready for college. It could be, but also could be worth a lot less. Yeah. So when it comes to saving for college, never put money at risk that you need for a specific purpose. If you've got $500 to put away that you're willing to go to Vegas and lose, mm -hmm you can put it into Facebook and gamble with it. Yeah. But expect to lose the money. If you don't, that's great. But never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. All right, good deal. Well, I recommend that you head over like I do to, uh, to StreetTalkLive.com and sign up for Lance's uh, X Factor report. It comes out every week, and I'm glued to the computer reading that thing every week. It's <laughs> Thank you. really good information for you. Lance, thanks. I'll, I'll go ahead and skip my purchase of Facebook. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I hear you.